selection of 33-year-old Ronald Osumba as uh, Eagle Alliance's Peter Kenneth's running mate came as a surprise to many who expected that Peter Kenneth would pick Rafael Tuju as his running mate. So who is this Ronnie Osumba? Is he up to the challenge that lies ahead? What value will he add to the Peter Kenneth ticket, the Eagle Alliance? Well, with me in studio is the man hims himself, Ronnie Osumba, Karibu. Thank you. Welcome Lydia. to our studios. Headlines screaming across social media, the internet, a lot of people asking, who is this guy? Introduce yourself to Kenyans, if you may. Uh, thank you, Lillian, for having me this evening. Um, before I introduce myself, I'd just like to uh, pass my condolences to the families uh, who lost their loved ones in Kisubu. I think it is uh, a tragedy that we're beginning to see too many times, um, but I just want to offer them, you know, uh, comfort that indeed um, there is hope. Mm -hmm. Now, my name is Ronald Osumba, and uh, like I said earlier today, I'm a Kenyan, I'm a father, uh, I'm a husband, I am a son. Okay. And I am a young person who loves his country. Mm -hmm. And we'll get to that shortly, Ronald. Thank you for the introduction. Political pundits have you know, gone out guns blazing and said that you're a political greenhorn. We have not seen you engage in politics before. So why are you confident that this is the right time for you? Lillian, I think we are talking about leadership, not politics. I do appreciate, and it is not lost on me, that this is a political platform that we are talking about. But I think that is precisely what has gone wrong uh, with this country, that we have focused too much mm -hmm. on politics and forgotten that what we are actually looking for is leadership, a leadership that inspires, a leadership that can organize and bring the people of Kenya together so that we can be able to achieve our common objectives. And this is what I am offering. Mm -hmm. I am telling Kenyans that allow this political greenhorn to provide the support that Peter Kenneth needs in running this country on a leadership platform, addressing the issues that affect Kenyans, the issues of uh, food insecurity. We have a hungry population and it is getting worse. Mm -hmm. Every year we are talking about famine, we are talking about drought because of lack of leadership. We politic with famine, we politic with drought. Mm -hmm. And these are the issues we want to talk about. Just curious, your relationship with Peter Kenneth, how did this come about? Who approached who? <laughs> um, that's an interesting question. I am Peter Kenneth's uh, chairman at the Old Sturahian Society, which is an alumni of our common high school. Um, and we have interacted with Peter Kenneth for a while. But for me, it has been a journey to try and understand this man, to understand his vision. Uh, a journey that ta started uh, two years ago. Uh, probably something I just need to say that one of the things that struck me um, as a great quality in uh, this man that this country needed was his ability to organize, uh, to inspire, and to bring people together towards a cause. Look at the work he's done in Gatanga. And I've visited Gatanga a couple of times. Uh, anybody who is in Gatanga will know they are actually in a different constituency. You won't need to be told where the boundaries of that constituency stands. And we had a very long conversation with Peter as we started. And um, he impressed upon me some of those values that I was looking for in my leader. Okay. Um, I was very impressed. Mm -hmm. um, and talking about the fact that you just raised right there that um, you both um, are Tarehe Boys alumni, and you've been criticized as the Eagle Alliance as being a Starehe Boys Alliance. What can you say about this? Rafael Tuju, old boy of Starehe, Peter Kenneth, and now you as well. The Eagle Alliance is an alliance for all Kenyans. Mm -hmm. um, it's an alliance of people who share common values. Um, it is an alliance of people who want the best for this country, people who can be able to provide leadership. Um, now, you might argue that it is not a coincidence that we are all um, from Strehe, but I think there is a common bond, a bond uh, you know, that, that, that br brings us together, that pursues values such as integrity, uh, a spirit of excellence, um, you know, the pursuit for happiness for all. And, and, and with that common background, that common heritage, it is only you know, a natural fit or a natural attraction. Mm -hmm. I don't see anything wrong with it. We were uh, uh, called upon to pledge ourselves 
to carry the weight of government. Uh -huh. And this is precisely what we're doing. I mean, I and I'll just catch you right there. Um, and, and, and let's talk about the issue of, of running mate. Traditionally in this country, presidential candidates have been known to pick candidates that will add some some weight to their bid. And, you know, people usually with numbers, people that can command numbers. What numbers do you have? Who are your constituents? And what value do you feel you will add to the Eagle ticket? Um, let me remind you that I'm 33 years of age. I am in the last percentile of the population of this country. I am actually slowly moving towards the minority. Um, uh, 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 in this country, a majority of Kenyans are below the age of 35. We all know that for a fact. Mm -hmm. uh, you have 78% of Kenyans who are struggling through education, struggling with healthcare, struggling to look for, to make a daily, uh, to make their daily bread, who are below the age of 35. These are people who I can't relate to. These are situations I have found myself in. Um, I have been, you know, blessed and to have traveled across the country. Uh -huh. And you grew up in Kibera. You just mentioned that you're 33 years old. You're a fairly young man. You grew up in Kibera. Are you in touch with issues affecting the youth countrywide? And in this sense, are you then able to rally for their votes oh. confidently and say that they will give you Absolutely. that vote? I, I, I will tell you. I will tell you that uh, I have worked with a lot of uh, young people in the last couple of years. I have worked with youth from Kibera. I have worked with youth from uh, Madare slums. I have worked with youth uh, who have set up a radio station in Korokocho, for example, a coach firm. I have worked with Senteo um, uh, uh, in, in, in Loyangalani, uh -huh. uh, in Turkana, to set up a women, women's development uh, 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 initiative. And, and these are some of the things that we see. But, uh, you know, we can be labeled and to be said that, you know, um, we are not in touch with the grassroots. But the issues that are affecting youth in Mombasa, in Kwale, in Kilifi, um, are the same issues that are affecting youth in uh, Mbale, in uh, Kakamega, in Bungoma. Okay. Let's talk about your job at Safaricom. You've got an impressive CV on you. Have you resigned from your corporate job to engage in active politics now? Um, I, I must say that uh, Safaricom is one of those um, uh, places where I have honed my leadership skills. I, I have been privileged to work at uh, you know, an institution that is uh, world class um, and that has trained me uh, to take charge of you know, the docket that I run. Uh -huh. um, and they have been gracious and, 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 and you know, one of the things that uh, we discussed with the management was that we needed to separate uh, issues. And okay. so I have taken a sabbatical. Uh -huh. um, and, um, and yeah. Uh, okay. So, so you're, no longer, you're no longer in the corporate sector. And as we wind up, Ronnie, as we head towards uh, the general election, are you confident that you're the right man to stand by Peter Kenneth? Convince us. Absolutely. I compliment Peter. Uh, Peter Kenneth provides for this country a leader who has a strong vision, uh, believes in his vision, has the ability to galvanize uh, people to deliver. He is a strong manager of issues um, and he will definitely need somebody who can be able to complement uh, uh, those particular uh, values or, or you know, characteristics by being able to stay on course, mm -hmm. to stay focused, to ensure that we deliver on that which we promise. And so this is what I want to tell you, that my responsibility um, as Peter's uh, right-hand man will be to ensure that the promise we are making to the people of this country are delivered. Mm -hmm. And I wish you the very best. Thank Peter very Kenneth much. today described you as the new face of Kenya, a young face, a 33-year-old, very optimistic about what Kenya will look tomorrow. Uh, people on social media, not too sure. Some saying that, yes, this is the no, new no, face no, of no, Kenya no, that no. we There's want. Others, however, saying There's a lot that of excitement. we don't know who this There's guy is. There's a lot is. of excitement <laughs> on social media, a lot of excitement from our core supporters. Yes. And what we want to do is we want to be able to translate that into a sense of hope, a sense that Kenya is ready for a new thing. Mm -hmm. Kenya is ready for new leadership. And I am calling upon all young people who have been agitating for space for young people to, you know, take position of leadership in this country to stand up and be counted. Mm -hmm. I have 
uh, offered myself okay. to be the driver of young people in this particular pursuit. And, and I'm, I'm certain that, that your bus, I'm certain that your bus will be full. Ronnie Simba, thank you so thank much, you very much for really your appreciate. time and good luck.